Hello everyone, this is Neil Honglin, and today I have three very special guests. They are all scientists. So I plan some AI-related questions to ask them and see will their views be consensus or be a little bit different from each other's. So question number one, do you think, will AI ever develop self-awareness? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, okay. So. You have a different answer. Explain your choice. I think uh, with agentic AI, so where you have an idea of uh, a single entity working by itself, and the freedom of um, of it uh, fine tuning its own neural network, that you could have a possibility where it's able to understand that if I am work, if this object is working with this object, whether another AI or a human or an animal, then in a sense, I am different. This object is different from that object. That at least I think would be one rudimentary way of seeing self-awareness. Uh, there are other aspects which might, I do not know whether uh, they will happen. For example, uh, one test of self-awareness is that if you look at a mirror, do you know that you're seeing yourself? Mm. I have no clue whether this will happen or not. Ziyun, so, why, why do you say yes? Mm, I think, mm, uh, before answering this question, I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> because in consciousness, mm, I think from now on, scientists or philosophers mm, don't give us a standard or in the definition of what is consciousness. So, um, as for uh, AI, um, I think it can understand you, but um, I think there's no inner instance of itself. Um, more like uh, uh, it can simulate your actions and your data, but it didn't know who it, who it is and understand the unwritten meanings or, or the meaning behind the papers. Yeah, so that's why I choose. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting answers, which lead me to my next question. Could AI develop emotions towards another AI? Will AI love another AI? One, two, three. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, Gerard, why, why do you think the answer is no? Um, well, to define emotion in, in general, for example, in machines, it's a very difficult task. and we have not been able to model that into machines very well. So you can maybe have um, some kind of um, a simulation of some kind of emotion like love and so on. It might maybe land this in, in data and something like that, but nothing will, will emerge naturally like we humans do when we fall in love for the first time and yeah. something like that. I don't think any such kind of emotion will be real. So we're not we're talking about no, not today, not five years, not ten years, not forever, no. No. But what I think is gonna be is gonna be possible is um, how do you call it? AI being in, in love with humans because the humans actually find them, you know, oh, loving. You understand? Yeah. So there there are actually instances of these wherein you can some people are even say, Oh, they have an AI girl, girlfriend, something like that. So much of that emotion will actually come from the human, not necessarily not the, AI. the AI. The AI will just do what it's been programmed to do, which is to feed you more kind of um, emotions that you think is real, which is not Harsh. based on reality. Yeah. Okay, so humans will love AI. Yeah. AI would <laughs> pretend to love back, but don't really understand what is um, happening. Exactly. Ooh. Yeah, so yeah. we ask this question, there is a movie in my mind called mm. Her. Yes. Yes. yes, exactly. <laughs> that is a very typical example of it. Yeah. So in, in that movie, it's, it's about a man falling in love with, with an AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when he found out that this AI has been in love with other so men. So many people, yes. He yes. got so angry and it's really it's a really good movie to watch. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Question number three. Can an AI truly become a artist 
that not only simulate, not only mimic, but also really create and having the impulse of its own and create art. One, two, three. <laughs> so not sure. Is that mean yes, that's yes right. and no? <laughs> Actually, yes. All of you have yeah. different answers. Okay, let's start with a yes and no. What is yes and no? That is not even an answer. <laughs> right. Yes and no in the sense that uh, how many humans are able to create something original? Right? That's uh, harsh. No, I mean, uh, I face. Criticizing you. No, I face it every day. Yes, I am not able yes. to create things that are original, <laughs> right? Uh, but more than that, it uh, like there's a thread running through these questions, right? I mean, can the AI do what humans do today, mm. right? And it could be possible for an AI to do things which, if a human were to do you would recognize as loving, as creative, as expressive. But because it's an AI, the question in our minds will always remain mm. that, is this real? Is or this genuine? Is this yes. authentic? Yes. Mm. How about a yes? We've got a yes. Who yeah. believes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do believe that eventually, in fact, they are already doing that. So they are creating really, how do you call it, um, very inspiring kind of art today. So recently we, we saw one of the state of the art um, image generation model called Nano Banana. So it's been able to, to do these incredible artistic um, infographic images. And I believe, and it was not like it was trained precisely to do that in some ways, but at, at a fundamental level, it will, it will just know what kind of image or what kind of artistic flavor to add to these um, um, images, yes, based on what it's been prompted but, to do. But according to your theory, they are basically doing math. It's human yeah. who are interpreting the art, thinking that they have meaning and giving it meaning and understanding yeah, yeah, it as something yeah, that, authentic. Yeah, that's my, whole, that's my whole point. So, so that <laughs> the, 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 the aspect of you saying, oh, they, the, this art is really you know, it's original or authentic depends on the human that is looking at it, right? Or the audience. And, and to me, art has a very, how do you call it, um, objective um, kind of um, perspective. And people have objective perspective on based on art. It's not like something subjective to, to one person. So hmm. I just believe it will, it will at some point, <laughs> <laughs> it will at some point be, be Good or uh, be beneficial to say yes. This kind of art that mm. has been Having produced by this model is actually related value. Authentic, yeah. Yes, Zian. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yes or no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because when we um, regard some people or person as an artist, um, we might as they really like um, express themselves or their inner mind by music, painting, or other thing. So. Um, I think if enough people uh, acknowledge that um, uh, the because like an uh, image created by AI um, is a art is art or is, is a masterpiece, I think that's okay. He is artist. Yeah. Hmm. Can well, I, uh, sorry, can of I course. Can small uh, uh, like offer a small coda. Uh, I think it, in a sense, it reflects back to a question which has been asked earlier in the 1900s. So, for example. Pre 1900s art, or roughly uh, pre impressionism art, mm. is about photorealism. Mm. Can you capture shadows? Can you capture exactly how a person looks? Right? But once cameras came online, that just became a waste of time. I mean, there was no need for uh, a person to slave away for months to, you know, uh, do this. You could just do it in well three minutes first, but now it's an instant. <laughs> but um, that actually led to a different question. People started questioning what is the meaning of art itself? So like, what is the point of doing this? And I do believe, uh, although I'm not an expert, that this was one of the catalysms for, uh, uh, catalysts for impressionism. That, you know, rather than trying to capture photorealism, you try to capture a mood, try to capture a thought. And that's why you look at all of these impressionists like Monet and 
there is not one single well defined object in the painting, but the whole painting together is well defined. So, it could be that say for example, an AI is able to compose a symphony, but then that might lead us to ask that is it, uh, is it really art to compose the symphony. Well, you know, these questions do not have right answers or wrong yeah. answers. It's just a different interpretation, different understanding. Yeah. And what's fun for me is that today I get to see these questions from scientist po point of view. So for those of you who have finished watching this short video, let us know what do you think about these answers and leave your preferences, your understandings in the comment area. And if you're interested in knowing more about AI, knowing more about the development of technology and what technologies can do in different communities, in different countries in the world, tune in to our podcast series, Global South Next Generation Voices and Visions. We will see you there. Bye-bye.